welcome back to another Let's Play Parasite Eve 2. This is David Rocks, and I'm very pissed because I currently recorded this damn thing already once, and somehow my feed was lost, and somehow the video managed to be too long, so I'm going to try to record this like nothing ever happened, but fucking A. And let's continue on. Yeah. <laughs> For anyone that's never seen Parasite Eve 1, where the rat transforms when you first see it, everybody thinks that that damn thing is going to transform on you. But, you know, spoiler alert, it does not ever turn on you. Which is kind of bullshit, because that would make for an awesome plot twist. Whoa. Homie is a gun manufacturer, and we're over here with this little piece of shit. While he's sitting there with that big ass fucking gun, man. Oh, hell no. This nigga's sitting here with his big ass shotgun and shit. We're sitting here with this little piece of shit. Oh, and Pierce just managed to call your piece of shit phone. Like, how did you even. How did you even have a number? You're in the middle of nowhere. So instead of saying, hey, just give Aya whatever she wants and I'll give you the money for it later. Let's exchange BP and really screw people over. Yeah, show me the guns, bitch. Unfortunately, I'm not going to buy anything right now because, except for bullets because, yeah. There's nothing really that interesting except for the grenade pistol. And God damn it. Except for the grenade pistol, but the grenade pistol, I can always get something later for that because yeah. I currently do not want that because it's just gonna keep up it's gonna keep my money down low and I don't want it down low. <laughs> Tell me about the shelter. <laughs> A shelter? Just like, I'm so surprised, but then, oh yeah, I remember that one. <laughs> what the fuck? It's like old timers and shit. <laughs> A big company. Okay, everyone heard that scream, right? How did he not hear that scream? I don't get how he did not hear that scream, but everybody else heard that goddamn scream. Oh, come, oh, please, like, people can't hop a goddamn wall? I'll go check it out. Dude, the general store. No, I didn't trust nobody. But yeah, but we're FBI with a gun. We can just break down the fucking door. Behind the garage. Might be able to get into the general store from below. It'll stink to high heaven. No, bitch, sit down. All right, let's go. What? Show her, boy. Forward we go. What I want to do is come over here and grab this coil of rope. Oh, but be careful. They're fucking scorpions. And I will fight them off screen because everyone has seen them. Actually, no, I won't. Because, you know what? They don't seem to touch the dog. Like, the dog barks at him and shit. And... No. They never do anything to the dog. They just leave his little ass alone. Like, fuck him. We don't want him. We want you, bitch. He's too much fucking hair. Moving on. Okay, now I will fight off screen. And we're back, and... Yes, I'm going to be fighting a lot of battles off-screen, because you've seen them, and see what they can do, and see how fast they go down. So I'm only going to show shit that really needs to be shown. 
So, let's use this. And it makes the wire rope. And you can just climb down there. That's this should. Should hold your weight, huh? But before you go down there, we forgot something over here in this corner. A recovery one. Down the well we go, and no flint cannot go with us. Yeah, with monsters and shit, I would not want to go in the sewer. No point of cutting that battle out because it's a lot more trouble than it that it would have been worth. Moving on. Down the creep. Who wants to go down the hole in the creepy tunnel first? Okay, yeah. Before we fight this thing, I want to do something real quick. Turn that on. Go back through here. And veer off to the left right here into the hole in the wall and you get a protein capsule which you can only get if the lights are on. But you just now turn them on. Okay, before you want to do this, make sure you have enough health because, yeah. Okie dokie. Move forward. And this fucking thing pops up. This thing is fucking a bitch to fight if you don't know how to do it right. To me, I just keep popping his ass with pyrokinesis. And I just all I have to do is shoot him once and he dies. You got a protein capsule and some R slug rounds. Dope. Okay, uh, do we have a flare by any chance in our... We do. Okay. Good, because I want to show something off screen. I did not show the last time I was recording this. Do not hit that light yet. Come in here first. And before you do anything, hurry up and activate that flare, because they will eat your ass alive. It kills the rats and the bats all in the room. The reason I wanted the lights off is because over here there's this a message in glowing ink. Now solve my t my middle two. How many in dry fields loo? Once you know to the next place a haunted house where only my son dark show its face. Basically, this is talking in riddles. And, yeah. The next place is the haunted house. Which is where we're supposed to be going. Hold on real quick. I... Okay, I thought I was not recording. I would be pissed off. And okay, now you can hit that light. But once you do hit the light, it'll never come... Yeah, you can never see that message again. Up the stairs we go. Oh, creepy ass music, bro. Babies, babies, babies. Oh, Jesus, I got obliterated right there. Uh, yeah, thank you for the flare. I'll put that in my thing. Thank you. And I will heal, because, yeah. Okay, moving on. There should be a coat. Yep, right here. Another freaking subliminal advertisement in the game. And near the broken glass, we get a recovery three. Onward, bitches!
So we gotta fight the dogs, fight the dogs, fight the dogs. There's another dog here somewhere. And he dies. Go into this area. Hey, you die, bitch. I love hitting things with one shot and they die. <sighs> okay, there's only one thing in this whole area. People think you can only find it at night, but it's bullshit. Go over here, click on the register twice. And whoop, a belt pouch, which you can attach. It adds one attachment to your armor, so you can add stuff for while you fight. But right now, unless you really want to waste it, it's useless. Hold on, we're coming after we check what's in this barrel. Shotgun shell. The voice is coming from inside. But it's locked. Bitch. You were FBI. Why the fuck can you not just break down this fucking door and go in there? Making excuses and shit while you cannot. Like, what the fuck? Like a wrench. Basically what that means is we have to go back to Douglas, talk to him, and he will say, give us permission to use one of the tools from his garage. So I will meet you back at Douglas. And we are here back at Douglas, so let's go talk to him. And he says, look, there's someone in there, but there's bolts that we need to take off. So he's wanting you to just use one of mine from the garage. So I will head back to the garage now and get that tool <sighs> man it's a good thing I did not live out here because look at that who can stand living out there alone all the time the man is so lonely he's stroking his shotgun for Christ's sake like he just got bored stroking himself so he just like oh we should stroke the shotgun for a while and bam. Here it is. That monkey wrench. Now, I believe there's a lot. Yes, there is enemies. So I will grind them. I will go beat all their asses off screen and meet you guys back at that dresser. And we are back. And as you can see, all done. No more grinding left. So let's hurry up and open this goddamn dresser tired of this bitch screaming like oh my god like can your scream be any faker look at that no I don't want to talk to you Ugh. and it reveals a big hole in the wall so let's go jeez anything to stop that fucking screaming it's fucking annoying okay now before you go through that door read this something scribbled in the dust Solve my solve my riddle before you go. Hear any barrel? Uh, whatever. I I'm not even gonna try to read that. Twenty one years ago, a boy met his doom. Now, if you go through that door, you will never be able to read that again. So you should read that before you go through that door. But anyways, this will conclude this episode of Let's Play Parasite Eve Two. Next time we will go through that door and see what this bitch is screaming about. Is it a bitch? Is it a TV? Is it some fucking asshole playing games? Yeah, well, we will find out next time. This is David Rock signing out.